This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomberito Automotive Group. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Maurice Drummond. Here are some stories making headlines on this Wednesday. Today, St. Louis County Executive Sam Page plans to sign an executive order to extend stay-at-home rules. The current order would have expired tonight. Last week, Page said he would extend that order indefinitely. Another coronavirus testing site opens in St. Louis City today. The drive through site will be open at the Affinia Healthcare location on North Florissant. And you can find a full list of the testing sites on our KMOV News app, as well as our website at KMOV.com. A group of kayakers is safe after running into some trouble on the Missouri River early this morning. First responders were called to the Howe Island Conservation Area at around 5 a.m. for a reported water rescue near the Boone Bridge. Now, we're told that the kayakers got stuck on a rock, but they were able to get out of the water on their own. St. Louis County Police tell us that they're okay and they're now recovering. So some good news out there. Time for a check of the weather, and Kent is here. And a little bit of a chilly start to the morning, Kent, but you also see some rain coming, huh? I do, yeah, by later today. And, in fact, we started off with clear skies very early this morning, Mo, and uh, those clouds are on the increase and as that rain settles in tonight, it represents the beginning of a little bit of a wet pattern. That doesn't mean raining all the time, but it's going to be a wetter pattern as we move forward from tonight. Temperatures will remain mild for the most part, and the weekend looks so-so. We'll talk about that coming up. Temperatures today reach near 70 degrees, but by late this afternoon, but especially this evening and overnight tonight, rain appears likely with scattered showers across the area into tomorrow morning. Let me show you what I mean here. On the super predictor as we go through the afternoon, a few spot showers here and there, but it's really this evening. And as you'll see tonight, when the rain really rolls in, seems the focus for the more uh, prominent rain and the heavier rain is over the southern part of the viewing area as we get into tomorrow morning. Still some rain lingering around before that moves out. And while we could see a spotty shower during the day, I think we'll have lots of dry time during the day tomorrow. So close to 70 today with that rain moving in later and into tonight and tomorrow morning. Then some dry time, 65 the high tomorrow. More rain and storms late Friday into Saturday morning. Maybe drying out a little bit on Saturday. That's a cold front, 68 on Friday, down to 58 on Saturday. And mostly dry weather on Sunday and Monday with a few spot showers around.